friends today in this video we are going to uh, look into how to make use of post processor json extractor okay so in my last video we have seen like how to do the correlation okay and using the regular expression so in this video we are going to look into one more post processor element and that is a uh, json extractor okay so let me just show you here okay so the json extractor uh, so the json extractor element can be okay so you can find inside a post processor and this is the json extractor okay so this is the post processor element now let's see like how to make use of this json post processor element okay and what is the purpose so i have here a particular scenario okay so uh, with a variant like i'll be logging into the application and uh, like i'll be clicking on some of different different charts okay so if i'll open here like the request details okay so if you look into like so this is one of the requests okay and similarly i have many requests in this okay so suppose in from this request so when in the real time when i'm running the scenario right when i'm running a load test and when this request is being executed so whatever response i'll get for this request okay so uh from the response i need to get some details and i need to pass to any of this okay so request like in this request suppose i want to pass okay the value of this end date or the start date or any other value okay so from previous request response data okay fine so like let's look here i have executed this particular okay so script and if you look into i open here the request number 295 and this is the response of this 295 okay five so now suppose i want to extract the as i told you like i want to take this end date okay I, or else i want to take the read okay or else i want to take the class id or else i want to take the from range or to range so any value okay so which you want to be captured from this response okay and you want that to be passed to the request body of this particular request the next request that is 299 right so see here currently these are all hard coded right so but suppose i don't want this value to be hard coded start date and end date okay so this is start date and this is the end date or any other parameters like from range or to range or grade or anything so i don't want it to be hard coded and i want this to be used okay so values should be taken from the response data or the previous request many times we will come across a scenario wherein like so you'll be taking the data from the previous response body okay so and we need to get the data from the previous response body and then we need to make use of that data into some request or in some url okay so this we can do it using the post processor elements right so the post processor elements basically it will come into the execution once we'll get have the response data okay so now like see we here we have the response data now let me show you how we can make use of this post processor element so now the response is present in 295th request right so here the 295th request is present right what i'll do i'll right click on this and i'll go and add post processor and json extractor so in my previous video i've shown you how to you can make use of this regular application extractor so i'm showing you in this video like how to use the json extractor okay so i added a json extractor and now which value we want to capture it right so that first of all we need to identify okay so let me go back to the response body of this particular request so what i'm doing is currently i'm this is my 295 request number so this is like i just executed okay so and this is the response so i need to take some of the value okay from this response and i need to pass to the request of this next 
okay so 299 request number okay so I don't want this to be executed with this particular hard-coded values okay so I want it to be dynamic values which are taken from the previous okay so response okay so now I'm assuming like here this 299 request is dependent on 295 the request okay so now like here once suppose this like request is got processed and we got the response okay we'll get the values and that value we are going to pass it here okay so now let's look into here i already have the json poster uh, extractor okay so now what i'll do see this is uh, in the text format right so what uh, what we need to do is first of all we need to just change it to the json path tester okay so see now this is like coming in a structured manner okay so now i need to check which value i want to extract it either i can extract like the end date or the start date as i told you right or we can extract here the recent record values like from range to range okay so i will show you extracting some of the value using the json path extract okay so <clears throat> Here, if the response is lengthier, it is difficult to identify its hierarchy, right? What you can do, you can use, you can copy paste, copy the entire thing, and you can use this website JSON format, format, okay? And here you can paste it. And once you click on process, see now we are getting here like the response body in very structured manner, and uh, like you can easily identify its hierarchy see here like now if i'll close the entire thing if i'll see okay so now if you look into so in the response json response so we have all these different parameters okay now so the suppose i want to get this details start date right so this start date is under the external filter right now let's look into here how we can use it this okay into the json path okay so now i have changed this format okay so into the json path okay so and here we can check for the json path expression whether it is correct or not and then if it is correct we can you make use of that in the json uh, post processor okay so now I want to get this data right so start date so which is directly presented into the external filter okay so you need to use this particular format okay so dollar dot and you need to give the hierarchy okay so of the elements so now external filter okay so I given here the external filter let's click on test see now as the moment I clicked on test can see all the values inside the external filter is coming here that means this is correct now right so now i want class id or start date or end date okay so suppose i want the class id okay so i will write here this class id okay so this is the class id okay so let's look into it now using json path expression you can see like when i'm using this particular okay so hierarchy so expression json expression so i'm getting this particular result which is nothing but a class id right now i can make use of this json path expression and we can use it here okay so the variable is like class id i will call it as it is a user defined match so See if you if we are in the in this particular response we have only one class ID right so yeah then you can use one or so if you found many match then you can choose whether you want the first or second okay so random okay so I'll give you a match one so if suppose the class ID is not present okay so suppose this here you don't have this class ID okay so what is the default value to be passed so suppose i will mention here if class id is not fetched from the test one pass this is class id okay so <clears throat> it's very simple you can rename also like class id okay and say this is the class id now the value of the particular class id
will be stored in this variable right so we need to make use of this variable and go to the request where you want to pass okay so suppose i don't want this to be hard coded and i want it to be take capture from previous response okay so we are using json uh, like uh, path extractor for this and actually in jmeter we will use javascript to get the value of a variable this is the syntax dollar and flower brackets and the variable name okay See, now this time what happens is like this particular value will be taken from the previous response and it is not hard coded okay so i'll show you by executing this so now this is done okay so i'll show you one more uh, different example where i will fetch the value from uh, not this external filter same thing you can do for the start and end it so i will go and suppose i want the value to be fetched okay so let's okay let's look into this recent okay i will minimize all the while expand that one please okay so let's look into now that is we have some recent records here okay so and in the site recent records we have like from range to range values right so let's look into how to fetch this value okay from range to range and if you look into we have a lot of from range and to range it's not a only a particular single value okay so it's a repeating so previous one like uh, inside the external filter this this is not repeating start and end it but this values are repeating like see under the self correction we have from date okay from range to range okay so not only a single from range to range we have multiple from range to range okay so <coughs> let's look into how to file, like get this value so here uh, is it okay so recent record self correction from range into range okay so now the hierarchy is inside the recent record we have all the values right so let's test okay see now the recent record we got all the values for the recent record now inside that we have the self correlations self correlation and if I click on self correlation now, if you look into all the self correlation values are coming. So let's see from range 0, from range 4.1, right? So this, so all self correlation values we got it. Now let's look into like suppose I want this from range now. So if I will give directly this from range, see it is it will not able to identify because we have inside the self correlation directions we have many from range okay it's not a single form range. what do we need to do so if we want okay so to be fast okay the particular from range okay so, so here like we need to pass okay we need to give the index as well okay so self correction and then from range okay so let's look into see now we got here the from range okay so this is the from range okay so suppose i want the two range right so i'll give here a two range okay so see two range so the same way like you can if you want this from range okay 4.1 and all so you can just change this value and now see we are getting now two range as this eighth okay so <coughs> this way like uh, you can select okay which value you want okay to be passed okay so suppose i'm taking this and you can add one more okay so post processor json extractor and now this is for two range right so you can rename it as two range okay and uh, here you can write two range and then match one you no value so you can use any default value like one okay so now this is the variable to range and go back here and okay, suppose i want to pass this to range right so here so instead of this i am using dollar flower bracket and to range okay so this is done so now let's look into here 
okay so by executing it whether uh, it is values are coming okay so to debug the value what i will do i will add a debugger okay so right click add and you can go to the call it, uh, this config so we have the debugger present so it's right so let me check it out so debug processor here so, so this is debug pro first processor okay so we need to add this so using this element we can easily identify okay so what value substituted to the variable okay so this i have added let me clear all the data okay so now i will rerun the test okay so let's run it okay so it's uh, running now, now test <clears throat> okay so many times like uh, we in many scenarios we need to get the data from some other response bodies and we need to pass to some other requests right so that you can make use of this post processor elements and even uh, like during the correlations which is very important okay so yeah so you now it's executed so now let's look into here so we have here the, the like class e right let's look into go back to this class e okay and so i will change this to the text format and let's look into the request see the request actually for this 299th request okay so we are like this is the class id we are taking the class id value from okay so the previous response and we are passing to it right but if you look into here so we have the value like present as this one right so which is nothing but it is captured from this particular request of 299 request okay so same way like uh, we we have substituted for this okay for so because we got the four as a response okay so from that previous body three so is coming as a four okay so okay so let me check it here so debug processor uh, value okay so what it shows okay so let's look into like what the debug processor contains the value okay so we the variables are used in this particular request 299 right so this is the value we are getting it okay so let's expand this and okay so this is the like uh, the debugger okay so we can go back and see here the response okay so if you look into here so it's showing here the value okay so for all the variables which are used okay in this particular request so see this is the class id value it is captured okay so 30219 and so we are using uh, like the token as well right so the, this is the token value also it is showing so we have here see two lines capture this for right so now this is this details are coming from the debug post processor okay so so since this value of a variable is being used here okay so it is captured from even if you look into the response body okay so for this particular request so, so it is showing here the class id as c c021 suppose that this class id is changed right the latest one will be captured similarly from range and to range okay so this is capture and it is used okay in this particular request so post your uh, doubts okay so and uh, comment me out if you have anything okay so thank you thank you for watching my video okay so keep subscribed okay to my channel and like please share this video so that uh, most of the people can go through it okay so in next video we'll look into some other okay so first processor as well and some other elements okay thank you bye bye have a nice day